Hey, you've made it to the end. This is the last one of the tour, but there are many other videos to come from Paintball Extravaganza. So for now, let's just finish our tour. Spot. So tell us about what we got here on the wall. Uh, well, we got so we got a couple different things. We have our CS2s, which so I, you got to speak loudly. Remember, because we have this all over here. <laughs> we have CS2s that have been out for a year. Um, top pros use them. Speedball. Come in several colors. They also have the infamous. So they got the skull back cap there. Oh, nice. And that's the, uh, that the infamous. That is pretty. Yeah. And then you they come in different colors. Um, and these have been like I said, these have been out for a year. This is what we released out in Extravaganza last year. So, okay. Um, but this year is the top. Um, now B was about to tell us about one of these babies over here. You want to talk about one of these? So these are our newest releases. So you have the uh, 170R, okay. and then you have the M170R. So the 170R is basically replacing the 160R, the GTEC 160R. Um, it's got the the shaft, five two-piece barrel. Um, it's got the nine-volt battery okay. here in the grip. Um, the Gamma Core. The Gamma Core. Okay. And then uh, nice engine release there. Yep. Um, still, you have to use tools to get into the grips and everything, but okay. a double trigger and stuff like that. And this is going to replace the 160R. Um, and then we have Top Secret that just came out this event, which right. is the, Are we allowed to show this here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Top Secret, um, baby. Just came out this week, uh, mechanical version. Okay, so, so this is the mechanical. This is the mechanical version of the 170R. Go, it's called the M170R. Um, pretty simple. It's. And this is what one of my writers wants to do a review on. So. Yeah, so it is, you know, the same core, but it is mechanical. Um, oh, thank trigger, you. Single, single so it's trigger. going to be propelled by the propellant. It's by normal mechanical stuff. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, so that's our new thing. Uh, not out yet. Um, these will be out. When can people look for that? Um, when can people expect to see that? It's a prototype, so a couple of months. Okay. Um, so by the summer of 2019, we would think it might be available? Yeah, it would seem so. I don't, okay. We don't have an exact date right now. So, okay. I, so maybe. Don't quote maybe. Me, but, don't hold them to it. Um, but this one here will be shipping out in the next two weeks. Okay, these. so this one's going out imminent. Yes, there uh, will be several colors. You get the, well, five colors. You're going to have the, the blue and silver, or I'm sorry, blue and gray. Okay. The red and gray. You have the HD Earth, the silver, and you have an all black, which we don't have the all black one here. Black's not here, but those three there. Yeah, those three, that one, and the... And they're going to take off on me. I'm not going to get my discussion in. All right. I well, like the camo. Let's wave, because yes. I'm waving back to those there people. You go. There you go. Um, so then we have over here, it's all of our... Oh, like, uh, we got our no. mag-fed gun. So this is the mag-fed gun that we're working on. Uh, we released briefly some information about it at World Cup last year. Um, just keep perfecting it and perfecting it. Uh, mag-fed, uh, the die mags. Um, it will take first strike. And then it was also put a loader on it, so you can do the, the gravity fed. It will come with the loader, and it will be PALS compatible, which we'll get to the PALS in a second. So you can eventually switch it to this, which is the gravity fed version. That's a dummy mag, so that the balls will just feed right down. All right. And then <clears throat> uh, the stock is separate. That's something new, so it's adjustable. And it'll be a, an accessory that you can purchase later on. It doesn't come with the gun. Okay. It still comes with that. So this is an after sale my item. So, yep, right there. And then uh, we have a EMAC, which has been out for a year as well. Um, just the EMAC, you can buy it retail. We, fields are using it as rentals. So we offer it in a rental form and a retail form, along with our PALS loader. PALS loader is. Uh, an agitated loader that works. Oh, funky. Yep. So there's a pin that's in here, which we'll get over here. I'll we'll bring you around there. I'm gonna head over here real quick. Um, actually, she's over there dealing with some customers. Wait. So this is the demo of it. So basically, there's a, a plunger piece that goes into here. When the ball is shot with air, the air excess air has to shoot out somewhere. So it's going to hit this plunger, and it's going to go up, and it's going to hit this blue piece in the base there, and you're going to see the balls. See how they're moving? Yep. So that's, so you, that's what's going to agitate them. You're never going to have a, have people go to shake. You know, people are never going to have to shake their loader. You know, that the part about having fun and playing paintball is doing it. 
and getting it done, not having to shake. It's all about the experience. So because you don't want to give the experience to the players, they don't have to worry about shaking their gun. Now they can constantly chew it. You never have to worry about Popcorn! And, and it doesn't pop it high enough that it's going to hit the top. So if you want to use brittle paint, that's fine. It's not, en it's not enough that it's going to break the balls. It's just enough, just enough to move them around to get them to feed in completely. Innovative little item. Um, we have the entire, we have our packs. We have these HK Planet Eclipse packs. Uh, the Zero Gs, uh, obviously if you are into speedball and all that, you'll know pretty much about these, but we got them with the Planet Eclipse logos. A couple different colors. Knee pads, elbow pads, pretty standard in paintball. You know, everybody's got those. Gloves, tank pods. Being said, two. We're going to be plenty of people out of fields. They can get these are the PALS loader. So, this is where the plunger would hit that we were talking about. The loader lid is, you can twist it, doesn't break. So, I mean, I'm not guaranteed it won't break, but I'm just saying it's weight. I mean, you never can take this with some of the other loader lids. Um, we got some EMC kits, which is basically yeah, the makes it more tactical. It's what's on top of the MG100, makes it look cool. And more, we have rental chest protectors <laughs> for people who want the rentals, uh, armbands. We got tanks, not these things. We got them. So remember, you guys are watching this. This is like this is for the field owners. This event, so that's why you're seeing a lot of these things uh, yep. that are uh, being uh, uh, sported out yep. for the. Uh, for the, for, the rec for the rec rec wall rental players and the begin beginner paintballers. Yep. Uh, some New Jersey club patterns. But there's stuff here for you too. Look at that. No uh, New Jersey patterns, and then uh, we got our clothing, our hoodies, camo jumpsuits for rentals. You got the book bags or gear bags. Ooh. You know, people call them book bags. People call them backpacks. I call them book bag. Um, and then our clothing. We got all of our padding in there. HDE. Yep, we got some padding in the arms here, padding up top. Nice. You got the HDE pattern. You got the On the matching pants. pants. Oh boy, were you? Yep. And then we got stuff for the. You got, you got PJs now. We got program pants, and then we have our overload jerseys, the bounce shirts. Nice. Um, very thin, very nice material, so you're not going to sweat. It is light. And it's light, and it'll help yeah, some of the you know bounces, and you've got the slide shorts as well to go with them. And there we have it. Yep. So I think we've done a full tour here. We did a full tour. Sorry, it was quick, short, and simple. No, we that's got some okay. bags and barrels. Oh, and yeah, carry on. Basically, everything you need for upgrades. You know, we got some grip kits. If you have a CS2, you okay. can get a different color grip. And we kit. all know Eclipse so well. So, so well. Quality products, and that's what we stand behind our products. All right. We got one more vendor on our tour. All right. You were very kind. Ya. Take care. All right. This is our last vendor here. These guys are. A Russian manufacturer of paintables. Привет. Привет. Как дела? Неплохо. Я немного понимаю по-русски. Немного. Talking to the wrong guy. Немного. Понимаю. Понимаю. He's the only Russian. Okay, понимаю. I speak very little Russian. My ex-wife was Russian. Oh, cool. Why is ex? Because Russian? Uh, why is she ex? That is a story you don't want to get into, but let me put it this way. I won custody. Okay. All right. So with that, let's get back to fun. Um, who wants to talk about your paintballs? We're live on Facebook. We're live. Yeah, we are. Wow. We've got a couple of viewers, but when we put this up, people will get to watch it over and over again. So, yeah. what do you want to talk about? Your Russian paintballs? Are they are they are they quality paintballs? Or are they made in Russia? I would say they are very international. We are all over the place. We ship them from from Kuala Lumpur to. Las Vegas in two weeks' time. They are out there in Moscow, and they're in. They're all over Europe. And uh, 2019 is going to be our year. Now, what is? Uh, what's the fill on these? What are they? What's the internal fill? What are they made of? Uh, the boxes you're looking at is like tournament grade paint. Okay. And they come with a nice fluorescent fill, bright fill. Yellow. Now it's a standard fill. I was here with Hastings earlier. He's well. You got. Will you pull my string, or do you guys actually um, supply the Legion team, the Russian Legion? Of course. There you go. Our team. There you go. See, so you go, guys. It's the truth. It's not. It's not a lie. It's we not a lie. We have the Legion. We have Infamous. There you go. We have Tampa Bay Damage. We have Ammo Kings. So we have a few big names. See, there you go, guys. But but you will sell to an American team if they've got the money. Of course. There you go. There you go, guys. We are in Vegas. 
Yeah, they can they can see the product, they can touch the product. Yeah. So for you gun techs and all you players out there that are in tight with your field owners, um, where do we want to send the field owners to get in touch with you if they want to buy your paint? Well, we are setting up shop as we speak. I think the first uh, larger shipments will arrive right after the Vegas event. Okay. And uh, they can get a, they can go to the website proshow.com. They can find the contact details there and uh, get in touch. So, what does Shar stand for? With Proshar, if I can ask. It's Russian. It's uh, it's ball. There you go. So so simple as that. It's pro ball. There you go, guys. It was a secret till now. So. I've added I've added one more Russian word to my vocabulary. Oh. I know part of the alphabet too. Ah ba ba ga da ya ja za ka. I can't get much further than that, but. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. I think we have finished our tour. These uh, these gentlemen have been good hosts, as long as we pay our money. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> and there you go. So, and what's the URL once more time? It's proshar.com. Yeah, pro dash char. Oh, pro okay, guys with a hyphen in it. There you go. Pro hyphen char.com. All right, and that was it, folks. We have now done a full tour. Thank you, gentlemen. We're gonna walk out and show you the exit doors. Well, and uh, maybe we'll see anybody on the way out. Maybe we'll bump into Greg Hastings and give that guy a hard time. There's so much that we may have missed here. And I said, oh, you know what? We did not ever really get a chance to do Exalt. We just keep missing the guy. And I can't wait forever. Oh, you know what? Let's go say hello to the guys from Behind the Bunker before we uh, bail out here. If you guys have not watched Behind the Bunker, it is a show that uh, generally comes on on Mondays, but uh, they're doing more on podcasts these days than they are doing live. So, um, guys, tell everybody about the Behind the Bunker podcast. And these are the people, these are the faces that you'll see if you listen to the podcast. It's on every Thursday at 6. There you go. It's it's really that simple. There you go. Just download it. Just download it. (laughs) Exactly. Just download it. So Uh, so you guys are... Paintball in any podcast finder and you'll find Behind the Bunker. We're an hour-long podcast every week, every Monday night. Yeah. And there you go. So um, for those of you guys who have been watching Behind the Bunker uh, over the years, over, either on YouTube or Facebook, they, um, their initiative in, in the future, I think, is going to be a little more uh, podcast-oriented. And, uh, and I, think, uh, I think that makes sense because these guys are fun to listen to and not so good to look at. They are not so good to look at. No, no. no. Well, my mom says I'm handsome. It's true. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a, it's a face only a mother. Well, you know, that's what I get, too. So I guess we're even. All right, so Todd, uh, I'm going to say goodbye. This is the end of our, our broadcast. Um, you flew all the way from Canada. Just Boy, my arms are tired. Yeah. Just for me to tell you that we are done here. <laughs> just done. Bye. Farewell. All right, so there you go, guys. This is Paintball Extravaganza 2019. It's at the end of the day. It got a little slow inside, so that made it good for us so we didn't have to fight too much against the crowd. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, listen, I've shot a number of videos here that are not live shots uh, that uh, will go up on the YouTube channel and I'm talking damn good content so please uh, if you're not subscribed to Danger Man Double X on YouTube then you should and set the alert so you don't miss them and there are going to be a number of articles that are going to be on DangerMansLair.com surrounding this event as well so you should also hit that website if you have a cell phone use the uh, the feature in the bottom left that allows you to get push notifications so when an article does go live and I'm going to give you a hint you really do want to do that because I offer contests on occasion and the people who get into those contests first are usually the ones that benefit the most. So those push notifications are pretty good if you want to get some free stuff. And last but not least, last but not least, I have a newsletter at DangerMansLayer.com where I will send out a number of really cool um, secret messages to people who are on the newsletter. And <laughs> I just got poked there. And those people are going to get in some extra information that no one else would get in terms of, again, here we go, prizes and free stuff. So please hit the danger man's lair. It's too much for any man. Hey, if you're digging the content, be sure to subscribe and set alerts. And be sure to visit dangermanslair.com if you're a true paintball enthusiast. There's a ton of good content there. If you'd like to read as much as you like to watch, it's a great place to head. You're going to get everything from gear reviews, contest updates, and the prizes that I give away the podcast with people like Greg Hastings and other paintball notables. Check it out, dangermanslayer.com.